Welcome back, meticulous mommies. I just thought I'd do a video for you guys to finally show something that I keep saying that I was going to do. Finally doing it, I'm going to show you guys my kids' ASD binders, which, quite frankly, they don't necessarily have to be considered ASD binders. They're just personal binders where I put all of the kids' information so that I can keep track of everything that's happening. Now, um, as you can see, my daughter, my youngest son, and my oldest son, and um, I'm going to show them to you in that order. However, before I start, um, as far as this, these binders go, I always go to my GTD binder first so that I can process any information that comes in before it goes to their binders so I know no matter what where all of that stuff is. So seeing as how I have something to process virtually every single day, I'm going to go ahead and show you how that process goes. So I just kind of flip open and once I get everything out of my folder here, my contents folder, where I basically put any mail incoming outgoing you can look at my GTD playlist to see how this works and to my system but basically I take it all out any of the important stuff I put here and I just work on it as it you know pertains to that day so for instance this is my daughter's ECI speech therapy summary basically how the session went um, you know what the speech therapist thought was improved or didn't improve as far as her speech goes so I would just take this flip over to my index which if you've seen my GTD system playlist you'll know what all of this is I definitely recommend it you can go ahead and click the link that'll be right here okay so basically I write down what it is that's the incoming once it is written here I simply decide which section it's going to go into next. That's what this is here for. And then this is just the number of all the items that I've done. This is a color coding system that I use for my entire family just to keep track of it. And then I just put the date. So once I've got all that figured out, I move the item to its proper section, which in this case is IF, which is my immediate fix section. Now as far as my immediate fix section goes, basically in the GTD system, David Allen says that if it's something that you can do in two minutes, you need to do it immediately. Just go ahead and get it done. So that's what this is for. I just like to keep track of things very, very specifically because I hate losing things. And I have a section where I just write out what exactly happened to that item. So in this case, I would just write it right here. So I've gone ahead and write, written it right here, got the date, and it's going to be archived because I don't need to do anything else other than keep it for reference. Um, I just have these symbols here. Now I started doing this recently, just as of this month, simply because I like to know how it came to me. Um, this just is an email symbol. I mean, not email, I'm sorry. Voicemail. And that, you know, you see that icon on your phone all the time. And I just wanted to kind of keep track of how things were um, presented to me simply because when you call people back and they're like, okay, did you receive a letter or a phone call? I know which one it is instead of having to be like, um, what was it? I don't remember. But anyway, um, so I have it written here. And basically all I'm going to do is archive it. Once it's archived, I'm going to go ahead and use my red marker to signal to myself that it is complete. Which, that's also in my GTD system, but I'm going to go ahead and show you again. This is my system here, and I've actually added a couple to it. Things that are canceled, projects that, you know, are going to take extensive amounts of time, so I don't need to really worry about it on my... You know, I don't have to go back and look at it. I can just look at the color and be like, okay, that's a project. That's something that I'm working on. Um, and then I have pink for reference because oftentimes I get stuff that I don't need to do anything with specifically at that time, but it could be something that I want to work on later. So I put it in my reference section, which is in the very, very back. And these other four I already had. Time sensitive and red is for completed and checked. 
So I'm just going to take my binder and I'm going to set it aside. And I'm going to go ahead and grab my daughter's binder, which normally does not sit up here. I usually have it down below. Um, in a usually I just keep it down here where I have, um, that's my paper stash, um, scrapbook paper and then regular paper. And then I have what usually holds, sorry about the creaking, that's my chair, it's really old. Um, I have this, it holds my laptop, and then this is my vast, vast sticker collection that's too big to fit into those um, plasticky um, containers, or not containers, but address holders or I'm not even sure what they're called, but this is my sticker collection, and I just keep it in a folder that I keep there. And then I have my um, Bible study purse, has all my Bible books in it for um, when we go to service. And then here's my school bag, just has my school binder in it, and then my school clipboard and. My little mittens. Then other than that, I just have another work bag back there, another binder. And then there's my personal binder, my husband's binder, and then there's my old GTD binder. And then there's a swarm of washi tape and cords. <laughs> so, uh, my daughter's binder. Sorry for digressing. <laughs> So the first thing that I have in here is just a folder for her so that I can grab it and go and just stick it in my contents folder that I take on the go with me. So the only thing I have in here is I usually keep her birth certificate and social security card and then I keep her coming, her most recent um, doctor's appointment that she has coming up and the one previous. Um, I can sometimes do keep her shot records in here but she goes to the same doctor and they already have those on file so she doesn't necessarily need it and then next I have some inserts that I've created for <laughs> my kids that I'm also going to be putting in my Etsy shop and as you can see I just have a picture of her right there and her name so that I can keep track of certain things that are going to be happening um, while she's at school she is going to a pre-k right now it's a P PCD school which um, I'm not really sure what the acronym for that is, but um, I know it's a school that has special needs children that go there. So I just have those things there for her. And then I have, um, this is just um, a flap to kind of keep all her stuff safe. Um, that's her when she was a baby. I had all of her information. I was so ready to have a girl. I couldn't wait to get all the pink stuff. Um, that's just her birth card that she had when she was in the hospital. There's a lot of information that I want to put in her binder. Um, specifically, you know, a picture of her to take out if something should happen to her, she gets lost or something. Um, just all of her personal information I want to keep there. And then I have her personal info page where I actually have another insert that will be in my Etsy shop probably by the end of this month that I use to keep track of everything that's going on in her busy busy little life um, her morning routine evening routine vitamin reading time Bible study two hours of TV or less if she watches more I don't check it self hygiene focuses just to try to make sure that she learns how to clean up after herself after she goes to the bathroom or you know when she gets in the tub bath time nap time medication which she's not taking any um, outside activities, milestone achievements, bedtime cooperation, and I actually have several more that I can add to this list. I just um, have it specific to her. And you'll see that when it does come in my Etsy store. But um, yeah, so that's that. And then I just have a review that I like to keep of how things went throughout um, the months. So I started doing it by day, by week, but I was like, that's a little bit too much. Actually, this is by day, but I started doing it by week in my planner just to keep track of that in my planner so that I didn't have to worry about taking this with me anywhere. 
Now this is the index for her binder. I have an index for all three kids just so that I know exactly what came in when for each binder. Because there's a lot of times that I plan on taking these binders to their IEP meetings or their um, ARD meetings so that I can have that on hand when it, you know, and it comes time to give them information about anything. So I have a few pages there um, and I also wanted to keep track of different signs that she's showing of having autism because it's still up in the air whether or not she has it. Um, she's actually going through evaluations now. Next I have her medical index. Um, each section that I have for my kids because I have personal, medical, and then there's school for my daughter. I also have a financial section in the back simply because there are certain costs that come um, with certain things with kids in general. So um, this is her medical index. So her entire medical section, it's basically written here in this index. So I've got her shot records because that's like a subsection, kind of like my work planner. If you've seen that, there's going to be a link up there for my work planner because I have subsections in there too. Um, I have her shot records all here all from when she was a baby and beyond. And then I just have her doctor's visits, all of those. This section has its own um, index as well. And you don't really need to see all of those, but yeah, there we go. And then I've got her mental health one. That has um, a section um, for her index as well. And in her mental health one, that's where I keep all of her ECI stuff, simply because it's not school, but it is like um, it is med mental health things. So um, I have all of that information where we the initial start off paperwork, um, you know, any uh, important information, policies, and stuff like that. And this is where she started having her therapy session. So I have what a little bear to mark where she starts and where it stops. So this is the last one she's had recently. And I'm just going to add in the next one here. So now I'm just going to take that little bear and I'm just going to put him here so that I know exactly when her last one was. And moving past that, she also had a group therapy. And I just kept all of that information here. This was kind of like a syllabus for what was going to be happening. And just information about that and how that went. Um, then I have mental and physical health because there were some times where it just kind of merged. And that was a genetics appointment where it was a doctor's appointment, but it was also an appointment that involved mental health. So I just have all that information there. And then I have her school section, which that has an index as well. And then I have ECI, pre-K, and elementary. And ECI, is, this is the initial letter that was sent to me after I sent in a letter to have my, my daughter evaluated. And I just have that index there. And then I have the parenting handbook, which I went through and read and just have that information. And then there's beyond ECI, which is, you know, the next few steps to take after you finish ECI. And I just have that information here as well that I've already read through and just have for reference, basically. Then next we have pre-K. Um, for pre-K, I don't have um, an index just yet. We just started getting her ready for pre-K. So we did her first in, um, IEP. Um, just to see if she's qualified for special needs and I just have all my signatures. And then I have the parent's guide, um, you know, just any legal information that's needed, procedures and stuff like that for um, the kids at their school. So um, that's all there. After that, um, I just have a section for elementary, a section for financial, which Right now, um, as far as financial goes, there's just um, certain programs that I tried to get them into simply because it takes like 12 years for them to actually get on to those programs if you do sign up. So it's good for you to sign up as early as possible. And one of them is here in Texas, it's called CLASS. And I just have that information here so that I know what their service number is. In addition to that, I know 
I have this list specifically so that I can have all of these different programs that I've signed them up for. If we do move, I have a list in my GTD binder that I can actually go to and I know exactly who I need to contact if we need to change an address for anything. So these are the things, these are the people I would need to call immediately or, you know, send in a letter to immediately if we move so that I know that they have our correct address and they can contact us if we do get approved for those programs. So that's what these programs are here. Interest list notifications. These are all of the services that are provided for spe um, special needs adults. And um, I just need to go through and make sure that I've completed all of these. I have another list specific to our kids' um, doctor's office that I need to, you know, just go through and see if there's any other services I can apply for. And then next, I just have um, this is their insurance and bills and stuff. So um, this is like a this is their Gerber Life Grow Up plan. Yes, I have one for them because there's no telling what abilities they're going to have in the future. They could end up being awesome scholars, so I want them to have a grow up plan so that I can pay for college if need be. Um, that's just, you know, their insurance policies, um, policies and different stuff like that information. After that, I just have a couple of things back here. Like, this is old information that I just need to figure out where I'm going to archive it. Um, other than that, that is the end of my daughter's binder. I'm going to mark it out with my red marker. And then once again on my incoming list. So as for my next child, I he has surgery that's coming up, my youngest son, Ryan. And I have to read this information so that I know it's going to happen during the surgery. Don't worry, it's nothing totally serious. He just has a lot of trouble breathing, especially while he sleeps. He has terrible sleep apnea. actually said it was severe we actually had a sleep study that was done for him not too long ago and I'm gonna have to do this video in a couple of different parts because I'm not gonna be able to give you all the information that's needed for Ryan's stuff because he's got a totally different diagnosis than the other two so first I wrote out exactly what um, his information was here in the index and his is in the next action section because it's going to take me longer than two minutes to read through all the information that's in this folder. Um, it just has his, his information about how the surgery is going to go, what they're going to do, where it's going to be at, and just different information like that, what time, the date, and just what to expect when it's over. So I have to read through that. And I already put the information in my next actions list. Now, it's different from my instant fix list because in my next actions list, I have a different section after the index where I can actually write out what the next step is to finish off that task. Basically, I wrote it out here in my next actions list. Basically, um, Ryan's got to have his surgery info read. It's going to take about 20 to 30 minutes to read through it. And I'm already scheduled to have it done Thursday at nap time, which is tomorrow. So, um, thank you, Mama. I'll eat the mixed vegetables. Nom, 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 nom. Is that Nana? I ate your mixed vegetables here. You can have them back now. Thank you. Sorry guys, working with a toddler nearby. So I'm just going to take this and I'm going to take Ryan's binder. <laughs> so now as far as what I need out of the folder, I've left in the stuff that I need to get through and read as far as um, what's going to happen during the surgery. And then I've taken out all of the information that I already know. Like this was the letter they sent me for the initial appointment with the ENT. And then this is the appointment. Well, this is how the appointment went. This is the summary of it. So I can archive these things. I don't need them with me. So the same thing applies. Sorry, we got a meal going on over here. 
Um, the same thing applies for Ryan's binder. I just have a picture of him from when he graduated from his PPCD school, which is actually the school that Alana is going to be going to, which is really cool. Um, I also have the same inserts for him as I did for my daughter Alana. And I just have some cut versions of them here because um, his come in handy. And then I have some blue paper here because his family color is blue, if you hadn't noticed. And um, everything for him is blue. His cups, his plates, everything. So um, I just have his quick and easy grab folder. Has his um, birth certificate and stuff in it. And his information as far as his sleep study went. And, you know, just information about... You know, things that I might need for if we're on the go and we go to somewhere new and they need his information. So that's what I keep in his. These are what I'm going to archive, so I'm going to keep those there for now. And um, this here is just a personal information um, flip-through book that I have. It's not a flip-through, but it's just one page. And it just has his important information, like his birthday, social security, Medicaid number, just so that I have those on hand. Thank you, Nana. Can you stop messing with my light? And I just have that here so that when um, somebody calls me or if I'm going through information in here, I can just look it up really quickly. Um, so there's his index. This is his re his review that I I'm taking this out because I don't necessarily need it, um, just because there's no reason for me to have it since I'm tracking it elsewhere, which is in my um, daily bullet journal, which is that thing right there. So there is his chart that I'm also that I said I was gonna put in my Etsy store, and it's customizable for any child, which is how you see the name and the face, and that's. What I like about that insert specifically. Okay, and then this is purple simply because this is how I started planning out the binder. When I first started planning things out, all the children were going to be purple, but I mixed it up because I did every, all of them needed their own color. So I have his fingerprints here because since he's out and about more when he goes to school, I wanted to have his fingerprints on file so that if he does get lost, I have his fingerprints and um, I know exactly, you know, who my child is based